He rested his head on his hands and took a deep breath. His mind was racing, trying to make sense of what happened yesterday. He couldn't help but question if he did the right thing or not. They left him with no other choice. His home was turned into a gas chamber, and his wife had no other option but to wear a gas mask. He did what was needed. He was sitting there, overwhelmed by these ideas and overcome with worry, when he heard a knock at the door. It was the police knocking on his door. The incident transpired in South Island, New Zealand. It concerned Brian Cohen and his wife, Svetlana, a woman from Ukraine. Brian and his wife were both retired and lived on South Island with the intention of building a place that they could call home for the remainder of their days. But the universe had something else in mind for them. The pair lived a successful life in Wellington, New Zealand, but sold it for greener pastures as soon as they retired. They wanted to spend their retirement years in the country, far away from the fast-paced living the city provides. They purchased a piece of land on South Island and began thinking of what they wanted their dream home to look like. Brian was far more excited about the project, but he had his own selfish reasons. Before retirement, Brian was a successful architect. He spent years making other people's dreams come true, but now it was finally his turn. Svetlana would watch her husband night after night, working hard at his desk, drawing plans for their dream home. They were so excited to get away from the city and begin their new life that they made a decision. The couple purchased a mobile home and made the decision to move it to their land so that they could begin enjoying country life as soon as possible. They spent years living in the city and they felt like they deserved the adventure after enduring the mundanity of city life. It was their first time doing something like this and they were thrilled to see how they would adapt to their new way of living. They had no idea what they were signing up for. According to their estimations, it would take approximately a year to complete their home. And during this time, they intended to live in their mobile home. They anticipated that living a carefree life for those few months would be fun and interesting, but they did not consider their neighbors. These would guarantee that the couple's fantasy of a free-spirited bohemian existence would become a nightmare. The first several weeks of their fresh start in the Mobarwell home were perfect in every way. They were relieved from the strain of their city existence for the first time in several years. They had nothing else to do but enjoy each other's company, read a few novels, and occasionally walk to the neighboring service station to pick up some snacks. The stillness, tranquility, and clean air were the finest aspects, but that would quickly alter. One afternoon, Brian was on a food run when Svetlana noticed a strange smell filling the air. It had a burning smell to it. The house filled with smoke in a short amount of time. Svetlana searched the entire trailer, wondering whether there might be a fire or a problem with the engine, but she had no luck. She walked outside after that and kept coughing. She learned what was happening at that point. Their neighbor's chimney was causing the smoke. The trailer's big clouds of smoke were brought by the wind as they burned coal. Brian returned from the gas station just as it stopped. The smoke in the caravan had almost choked Svetlana while she was inside, so she hoped it would just be a one-time event. However, Things were about to get even worse. The neighbors continued burning the coal for weeks after, and Svetlana and Brian's house would fill with smoke whenever the wind blew from the west. Brian made the decision to take action one day. He then informed their neighbors about the situation by going over to their house. So the bottom line is, my wife has a really bad reaction to your smoke, to the point that she can't sleep at night. Could you please stop burning coal? He said when he approached them, attempting to avoid being very aggressive. The neighbors, however, responded in a startling manner. They refused to stop. They argued that they weren't doing anything illegal, which was true. The region's legislation didn't have any regulation against coal heating, but they showed no concern for Brian's case and kept burning coal like nothing happened. The situation became unbearable, and Svetlana had to buy a gas mask to wear inside the trailer every time smoke inundated their home. And that's when Brian knew he had to take drastic measures. In a fit of anger and frustration, Brian did something he would regret later. I was really upset and actually threatened to go over and do something to him. It just made me really angry. He told the press when asked about the story. The day after he did that, the couple heard someone knocking on their door. They hoped it would be their neighbor, who may have reconsidered his ways and wanted to apologize. But they were wrong. They were two police officers. Apparently, the neighbors had called about Brian's threats the day before. They were not there to solve the issue with the smoke, but to warn Brian to desist in his ways. Brian and Svetlana tried to tell the officers about the problem, but they just shrugged and repeated what the neighbors had said before. 
There was nothing illegal about burning coal in that part of the country. Now, what could the couple do? Brian and Svetlana tried to take their complaints to every single authority in the region in an attempt to find a solution to their problem. However, they found little success. We got duck shoved from one to the other, but no one will take responsibility, Brian has told the media. But what's even more appalling is how other neighbors have been reacting to their story. According to Brian, some members of the community have expressed their support. However, others have laughed at them, saying things like, don't you realize this is a coal town? And telling them to return to where they came from. Every night, I need to wear a gas mask because I can't sleep, I can't breathe. It's like a gas chamber, Svetlana has told the media. We, as New Zealand residents, have the right to breathe clean air. That is what the Clean Air Act states. Why do we not have the same rights as other regions in New Zealand?